Anyways, but uh, we're going to focus on farming for right now. And as you can see, there is 87 farming woot, on a normal patch. And um, I this isn't this is my last patch, so the first pick, so that's pretty cool. Here's my um, the what you call it um, stats <laughs> total levels and uh, 1788, so doing pretty good. Um, was pretty pumped about uh, getting that farming level. Um, but I'm um, going to try to tell you what I'm going to do for the rest of it, and that's mostly just run around my farming patches, which you've all seen, um, you know, other people do. Um, this is how I do it, but this is, the only thing that's different is I have the complete farmer's outfit, which I'm pretty pumped about. Got it from um, Tithe Farming, and I'm thinking about making a guide, and there's a, a list of other things that I've been thinking about um, for a, a while. So, um, if you would, I would, uh, I would appreciate you comment and liking what you, what you'd think. Um, I'm actually going to run up to com still complete the rest of my farm patch and, uh, we'll see what we go from there. But so, um, a couple of the thoughts I had are from people like in game. I've been asking a lot of people about like what, what kind of content they would like to see or like just feedback from the videos I posted um, so if you could help me, it would greatly improve and maybe you can, um, sit back and enjoy the, you know, some other content that you'd like to see anyway. Um, so, um, I've been told I need music in my videos and I try to put some of that in, but then, um, it gets, uh, not blacklisted, but kicked off from YouTube. YouTube will not let me post some of the mu music I like to listen to, which is just because of copyright infringement. Um, I've been, um, let's see here. Um, one of the things is how I got some of my skills up. Um, this pertains to like crafting, smithing, slayer, farming. Um, 10 hours of pyramid plunder. Um, uh, pushed for 1800 total. Um, some quests, which I'm not really good at quests. Um, like some of the, um, feedback or some of the, footage I have from Arma or my bando strips uh what I think is a twisted bow um a tithe farm guide which I already mentioned and then a video about how to get the god wars um the last one uh has to do with me going to like um doing a quest and stuff and I'm not really a questing kind of person so, um, if you would like me to show that, it's, it's not super difficult. Um, basically, you want to get Trollheim out of the way. Um, I have talked to one individual that uh, was needing help at the GE to get to God Wars. Or he was asking me how I made money, and then I told him, like, bossing and stuff like that. So, I might do something like that if, if people... Um, are, are wanting that um for me it's just a, a provide a, about providing a service like there's been different times that like i'm like trying to like look up something and i don't have a clue um fortunately there's a good you know i have a good resource in the clan chat and other friends that are online that be like hey i can't find anything on like wikipedia or youtube about this already can you tell me how to do this and you know, usually I get the help out or I just go do something else. <laughs> but, um, so, uh, whatever feedback you can give me would be really good. Speaking of doing something else, I am going to harvest or check my health on my first celestial tree. And here that is. Um, I actually missed the clip of, uh, checking it, but it was a lot of experience. And then I had to run back to the bank for the dragon X. So anyway, but um, this celestial tree costs a lot for the seed, uh, and then you use a knife on these little guys, and that makes battle staffs. So you're basically growing battle staffs, but I don't know yet if the tree dies after you cut it, you know, so many times, or what happens. So I'll give you a cost per estimate, whether I think it's worth it after a while. If it comes back again and again, it's definitely worth it, but eh, right now, 
uh, jury straw out. But it was nice to grow at least one. So I'm going to cut those super close to this level. And oh, that gave me a, um, a diary achievement. That's kind of cool. So let me um, do some of these white berries and see if I can get this level, which would be super nice. But, um, oh, um, by the way, uh, please stay tuned to the end of the video because I am going to be showing you clips of some of the stuff that I have recorded parts of, and uh, I think you'll like it. So let me know in the comments down below whether or not you like it. And I know a lot of YouTubers are always asking for comments and stuff, but it really does help. Uh, Nope, that didn't quite get it. And collect the spines. I'm 406 away. Really? <laughs> oh boy, come on. Three, 355 away. Anyway, well, I, I can harvest a few other things. And try getting these. I'm, I'm so close to getting this. So, anyway, um... But uh, I will, if, if this is kind of in the middle of the video, so it's Corrali a good place for it. But uh, first person to comment in the comment below, I will give uh, 1 million GP inside of RuneScape. Just add me. My private's on, uh, always on, usually, unless I'm bossing and then turn it off. But um, just GM me and say, hey, I, am, I commented on your video, and I'll give you 1 million GP. I know it's not a lot, but uh, it's just a thank you for what I can do. Um, let's see here. 100, 130. And didn't get it. 100? No. Oh, my. 10. 10 experience away. Come on. 10. <laughs> Okay, this for sure will get it. This is, uh, I think this is my first dragon fruit tree, actually. So, let's see. And line this up. And click it. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, very special. <laughs> oh, I love those big XP uh, drops. And uh, this dragon fruit is a recent update. Or the tree, anyways, or the, the fruit and the tree. It's uh, super neat. Um, I think uh, it looks cool and uh, um, had a lot of experience, and it definitely needed something above palm tree. So um, I think that's for the win. Usually, farming is uh, kind of gets forgotten about, but I definitely like that a lot. Okay, so I'm going to get back to the bank here and. Uh, this next bit is uh, kind of interesting. Um, basically, I was sitting in my bank, just got 88 farming, and um, I still was recording because I didn't shut it off yet, and one of my clan mates from uh, Billy Bulls with a Z, anyways, that's his uh, clan mate, uh, feel free to join if you want. Um, oh, and this next bit is just a price check on my bars and darts for right now. So, anyways, keep getting sidetracked. But yeah, he uh, asked if uh, he could get a blue pipe as collateral. It's one of the things we do. So basically how it works is you can't really lend an item, but I can uh, trust trade you. But instead of trust trading where they just give you something for nothing, um, I give you a blue pipe. So... Anyways, you'll see that here in a bit, but I um, have been doing livid farm, as you know, and um, I decided to break down and not get my, uh, what you call it, the seed box before I get my auto weed. So I'm going to buy that here. <sighs> it almost kills me because that's like uh, three or four hours of work, but it's worth it. So I will never have to worry about raking um, or re-raking a patch. I'll rake it once and it'll stay raked forever as far as I know. That's how that works. So anyways, back to um, the guild. Um, oh, and uh, flipping old school as a video. Yay! Can't wait to watch that later. So um, tanked got ya. Um, 
needed a blowpipe for uh, like a mini game or, or like a, I think it was a clue scroll actually. And uh, so I, I ran to the GE and um, with my got my blowpipe out. And uh, how it works is you just like sit here and say like I have this item. Um, and if you don't want to like buy it and lose money on it, if you don't use it a lot, um, like a god sword or a, a dragon warhammer or something like that, then you just put something up as collateral. Um, I think the last time I did this was I have uh, Amulet of Eternal Glory, which is unlimited glory teleports wherever it goes, like Edgeville or whatever. And um, it's, I don't know, 20 some odd mil. But uh, someone just uh, traded me like a pair of tacits. They used it for like four or five hours and then traded the stuff back. So it really works out. Anyways, while I was here, I had a random encounter with uh, this uh, gentleman. Um, he doesn't know I'm going to use him in the video as of yet. So um, here is Ori Drizzy. Um, and I said say hi to YouTube and uh, asked him if he had a message. I'll just let the white person play out. Well, anyways, you heard the man, and this clip will just blow you away. I'm going to have to play it again. Look at that hit. Oh, yes. And that's from the trip with Bandos. Here's one from Arma. And up here, um, I'm using a blowpipe and an ACB, and my brother is using a twisted bow. So you can see there's a lot of high hits. And this is just a, like a one-minute uh, segment, but... Uh, if you if you like this kind of content, I'd be I love going up there. So let me know. Um, let me know if you have any questions, if I can help out with anything. But just look at these hits; it's just insane. Um, with that twisted bow, just rips it apart. And I hear uh, Sarah's even better. So anyway, um, that's pretty much what I got today. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, it really does help. Um, but more importantly, if you could leave me a comment about like something that, uh, the video did for you or helped you out, or if you have questions about anything I covered, I read all my comments and I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys. And, uh, here's one of my, uh, people in the clan said I have a good voice. Ha!